The University of Michigan's undergraduate library reopened this morning after being treated for poisonous spiders. Three Mediterranean recluse spiders were found in the library's basement in late January. These spiders are mostly found in basements and boiler rooms, and if bitten, can cause skin lesions. Pest management treated the area over the weekend. School officials say it was a mistake to close the entire library since spiders weren't found in any of the public spaces. From the impact of antibiotics to whether you need to delay your mammogram, viewers have a lot of great questions about the coronavirus vaccines. We bring our Dr. Frank George back in to help clear up some confusion, starting with a really common question about medication. Frank. Exactly, Kim and Devin. So a viewer named Kathy and many others ask, should I take my high blood pressure medicine before I get my shot? The answer is yes, you should continue taking all of your usual medications, including aspirin and anti-inflammatory arthritis medicine, if they are part of your daily medication regimen. Now, here are some more questions. Several viewers ask, is it okay to get the vaccine if I'm on an antibiotic, or do I need to wait? Antibiotics have no effect on the vaccine, and it's okay to continue them. Also, the vaccine won't have an effect on whatever bacterial infection you're taking the antibiotic for. Now, Janine asks, I just had my second COVID vaccination. I was supposed to have my annual mammogram, but I was told I would have to wait six weeks before it could be done. Why do I have to wait? The COVID vaccines can cause an enlargement of lymph nodes, especially in the armpit near the injection site. The problem is these lymph nodes can sometimes be seen on a mammogram and cause unnecessary concern for an underlying cancer. As a result, the Society of Breast Imaging published new guidelines for scheduling mammograms to avoid these potential false positives. They recommend, if possible and when it does not unduly delay care, consider scheduling screening exams prior to the first dose of a COVID-19 vaccination or four to six weeks following the second dose of a COVID-19 vaccination. Now, finally, Jennifer asks, I've seen people give shots without wearing gloves. Aren't they supposed to wear them? Well, that is a completely understandable question, Jennifer, but the answer is actually no. Gloves are not required when administering a vaccine. Remember, the purpose of gloves is to provide a barrier between the patient and caregiver to prevent exposure to bodily fluids. As long as the medical person doesn't have any open lesions on their hand, Gloves are not necessary for routine vaccinations. And in fact, this is in the CDC recommendations from June of 2019. It's actually much more important that hands are cleaned with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer or washed with soap and water. And if gloves are used, they need to be changed between every patient. Back to you. Great, great questions, great answers again. All right, Doc. Remember, if you want to submit a question for Dr. McGeorge, you can find the link on a homepage at clickondetroit.com.